morning, everyone. Welcome to BBC Radio Wales Breakfast with me, Claire Summers. It's 6.07. Good to have you with us today. Coming up, Wales needs an independent review of children's social work following the death of Logan Mwangi. Experts say it must be made a priority. We will bring you all the details on this next. Also on the show this morning, we've been hearing an awful lot about shortages of HRT. So why is there one? And what could the impact have on women going through the menopause? Also today, should smoking be banned on beaches? Research finds Welsh beaches had the highest amount of cigarette litter in Britain last year. And you could save over £140 a year by switching off so-called vampire devices in your home, according to a new study. These are things like games consoles, set-top boxes, which use energy when they're plugged in. Much more on this before seven. BBC Radio Wales Breakfast with Claire Summers. Good morning, Wales. Needs- uh, now, Port <laughs> Eynham Bay Beach has been added to the list of smoke-free beaches in Wales. It follows research from the Marine Conservation Society, which has found that Welsh beaches had the highest amount of cigarette butt litter on, on them in Britain last year. Well, signposts are being put up by the entrance, asking people to voluntarily take part in the campaign. Suzanne Cass is the chief executive of Ash Cymru. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Claire. How are you? Uh, we're well. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll talk about the environmental, you know, problems with, with cigarette butts in, in in just a moment. But you know, it, it's not nice to see, is it, when you when you go to the beach and perhaps you're having to kick away someone else's cigarette butts before you put your blanket or your towel down. This is BBC Radio Wales Drive. I think one of the things that's been huge for me is Wi-Fi, and um, especially with the world opening up again now and and going away on holiday, just leaving your Wi-Fi on and not realising that that's actually costing you money where you you can just switch it off and then when you come back, turn it back on because actually no one's going to be using it. That was Lisa Marie Marshall, who's based in Cardiff. We spoke to her earlier in the programme about vampire devices. Vampire devices are electronics that drain a surprising amount of power, even when they're just on standby. Research by British Gas shows that households in the UK spend £147 a year on average powering devices they aren't using. Also on the programme this evening, the visitors to Blackrock Sands who had to find another way home. Because what happens is they can park the vehicles there and there's, even though that the shrine's there and you can see the tide coming in, they'll go for a walk down to the other end of the beach and not realise that the tide comes in so quickly. And changes to the Wales team who'll take on Italy in the Women's Six Nations on Saturday. This is BBC Radio Wales Drive. Listen on BBC Sounds. A camper van got itself stuck on Blackrock Sands near Porthmadog yesterday. As the tide came in, attempts were made to pull it out before the seawater got to it, but that didn't work. Earlier I spoke to Emma Walters from Blackrock Sands Touring and Camping Park in Porthmadog and I asked her what she saw. Well, basically, as normal on here on the Blackrock Sands beach, people don't pay attention to the tide line. Most of home decided that it get as close as possible to the tide line and didn't pay any attention with it coming in, with the water coming in. So what happened? Well, basically, then the Coast Guard gets informed, the portmaster, he got informed, and then, unfortunately, the farmer at the top of the road had to be called out to basically drag him out. 